Welcome to our introductory tutorial on motion study. In the previous version of SOLIDWORKS, the motion study application was called Animator. We activated it by selecting Tools, Add-ins. Animator appeared in the Add-in Applications list. Let's cancel out of this for now. Today, Animator is called Motion Study. Here's the Motion Study tab right here. If you don't have the Motion Study tab visible, you can select View and then activate the Motion Manager. Let's go back and activate it again. Basically, Motion Study is a graphic simulation of the motion of the assembly of parts. It takes into account the geometrical and physical properties of your model. Motion Study includes three motion simulation tools, which are accessible from this drop down menu. The first tool is Assembly Motion. This option allows you to animate the movement of the assembly and its components. The next tool is called Physical Simulation. This tool takes into account the physical properties of the model and its components, for example, mass, and then it approximates the effect of gravity, collisions, and so on on the movement of the model and its components. The computation of physical simulation is more CPU intensive than the computation of assembly motion. Okay, let's take a moment to look at our last tool. It's called Cosmos Motion. Cosmos Motion computes a more accurate simulation. It takes into account more parameters, such as different forces and frictions. It also takes into account material properties, such as inertia, for example. As you may infer, Cosmos Motion is the most CPU-intensive of the three tools that I've just described. When Motion Study is active, we see the Timeline Work Area on the right and the Motion Manager with assembly components shown on the left. Basically, in the Motion Manager, you see the same components that you see in the Feature Manager up above. Right here, we've got the Motion Study Toolbar with conventional tools such as Stop and Play, as well as Play from Start, a Play Speed drop-down menu, a Play Mode drop-down menu, and so on. The diamonds on the timeline represent key points where motion starts and ends. In the Motion Study Manager, we have orientation and camera views. Right-clicking gives us access to a contextual drop-down menu. Here we have components. Here we have motion components, such as Move, Explode, and Appearance. You can right-click on each of these components to get the contextual drop-down menu. Let's collapse this tree. And this concludes our introductory tutorial on Motion Study.